It was many years ago that an awesome young lady that I have decided and, and we came to the decision to work together many years ago came to me and said, how about this band, St. Ricketts, and the songs with Fire Cannot Burn. I'm like, let's try it. I'm like, oh my God, absolutely yes, perfect. St. Ricketts with Fire Cannot Burn, www.stricketts.com. And the reason why I say that is because the emotion and the excitement. Happy day of your birth, Jewel from JD Thanks, Wolf, KD. my brother, uh, Steve Higgins. Yo, and a happy birthday to Jewel in the. Thanks, Steve. Don't, don't forget, everybody, throw up one of these fantastic drink emojis of your choice. Oh, boy. Jewel. Jewel, do a little sippy for us. Jewel, <laughs> I'm in. I'm in it with you. Ah, oh, shit. All right, let's get it going. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tuesday night live, 8 p.m. It is the you show. You, you. Jeff the short Perini is not about me one one bit tonight. It is about the co-hosts with the most. This for once, it is about. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much. I just bring it down. It is all about the co-hosts with the most. It's the sister from another Mister, the most beautiful birthday face in podcast, webcast, broadcast, simulcast, bodycast. If I didn't say that already, you name it. Our birthday girl, Jewel Tady. Jewel, good evening, happy birthday, etc. It is not about me tonight. How are we doing? Good evening. We're doing good. We made it. And that's the most important. Um, yeah, rough day. But uh, what was getting me through was thinking about tonight, thinking about the key concert series, how far we've come another year. And every year it just really has been getting better. So, um, yeah, cheers to another year. And, uh, yeah, we're just really excited for I love my birthday because it is in January. It always feels like a new start. So I try to improve beforehand, get myself a little ready before the end of the month, and then get prepped for the new year. So I like to I be love a January that. baby. I love that. Um, you've never shared that with me before in all the years. And I love that. I think it's awesome. And you can change certain things in life, never change the way you are on Tuesday nights because I love you. I'm oh, I so don't. happy I look, for you. I think I've kept the same style. <laughs> <laughs> same same everything it's amazing though and we love it and um our birthdays are always filled with um different things sometimes we just drink ridiculously sometimes we get last minute guests sometimes we do surprises and uh this year i tried a surprise and it didn't really work out so i'm like all right back to the drawing board and I'm like, i got an idea and around the past jewel jewel's like what a great idea let's bring on a couple of the bands they're going to be doing this key concert series since like this has been the goal forever to get to this point, and we're almost at this point, why not celebrate a couple of these bands? So coming up tonight, two different bands, 8.30, the Bryn Athen Band, and at 9 o'clock, Twisted. Absolutely, oh my God. Two, oh, we, have, oh, we have two from Twisted, one from Bryn Athen, three outstanding songs. And I got to tell you, Jason, good evening. And Jewel, hope you're both having an incredible night. I lost my wallet two weeks here, Jeff, and I finally got everything replaced. Congratulations, good Jason. Good job. No, no, but happy hour of pod is on tonight, and we have Jason. Ah! A thing. Oh, we're competing with happy hour. Oh, I love happy hour. Love you had Bruce. Bruce was going to come on. Yeah, it was Bruce. He's like, I got to sing the Jewel Tate. And I'm like, dude, you sound like you're pooping. Now I lost him. I would disintegrate if Bruce came on the pod. You know what's interesting? I was listening to Bryn Athen on Spotify. And it took me to another band. I don't know if they're uh, affiliated with Burnathan or, or just like went through the play. You know how it just goes to, to like similar artists. Yeah. But the band, I, I'm going to have to find the band name, but the song was Springsteen. I'm like, how wow. serendipitous is this that, that it would lead to that? And it was a great song. I, I really like the band. I'm going to have to find that. Shout them out. Love, later. love the band. Um, and of course, when I first found them, I'm like, um, are you guys from Brennathan? They're like, yes, her name came from. I'm like, okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> Had to check. I mean, it's an unusual name. Yeah, you're, you're cheating. Shh, don't tell Ray. You're with the only thing today. is we there's can... a Brennathan College, so don't get yes. them twisted. Wow. Look at this. We're on fire tonight. There's oh, a Brennathan no College, <laughs> and trust me, it's, it's hard work going through and, and finding 
the exact listing to go to YouTube, etc. But we're so happy we found their song, Cold Lady. We're going to play that. We got love two it. from Love It. We got two from Twisted, maybe some from Cole, since they're all going to be together at this key yeah. concert series. Jewel, top five list. I know you hate me for it. It's uh, <laughs> very plain, but it was your birthday. So I figured let's do top five favorite cakes. Thanks for taking pie. it easy on me. I did. I mean, it's your birthday. Cakes, pie, something you're good at as well. You know, as I, I think hard about these top five lists, so I know you bring do. it. And you get mad at me, so I'll blow through mine real quick. And number five, banana cream pie. Big fan. Number I four. I've never had that ever. Oh, I love it. Number four, pumpkin pie. Like I said, hats off, major four? friend of the jewel. Jewel. Well, it's not your pumpkin pie. It's just pumpkin pie. Yours is like. I couldn't put yours in its own category. It's oh, not yeah, fair. That, that just stands alone. But you know yours is number one. Marble Pound Cake at number three. Really? Number... What? Yeah, Can I, I love ask Marble why? Pound Cake. I love Marble Pound Cake. And I know the taste of the two different colors does nothing, but I really enjoy it. Is it, like, what brand? Is it Stocks? Well, I mean, Stocks is my first choice, of course. Stocks is Apple a really pie. here. Yes, yeah, Stocks. And anything from... Um, Fritz's. Fritz's now has a chocolate Fritz's. a chocolate chip pound cake. Stop oh, it. Yeah. oh, yeah. Number one, of course, Ooh. is chocolate cake. I like chocolate cake. Chocolate icing. Or it could be devil's food. Anyway, chocolate cake. You're Number in one. the minority, I will have to say. Like, no one likes chocolate cake. What? Dad what is great. Gives it chocolate cake. <laughs> yeah, we can't, what? like, go Cosme anymore. <laughs> what? Yeah, I know, right? What universe are you in that nobody likes chocolate cake? Apple pie is JD. I don't. I prefer vanilla over chocolate cake. What? <laughs> well, I'm going to see your top five. And if vanilla's not on there, I'm calling bullshit. Well, I had to do cake because I only like one pie, and that's pumpkin pie. So that just stands alone, I guess. Fair. Uh, but I did Fair. cake. Uh, five, I did carrot. I made Ooh. my first carrot cake for my friend from scratch for their birthday and it came out pretty well i mean the first attempt i didn't add something and it came carrots. out like cardboard yeah probably <laughs> dude the carrots <laughs> was the worst part you had to like um you know grate the carrots oh you see like homemade grated oh, wow yeah, like from scratch yeah like top Shit, bottom. man it took forever uh especially making it twice it. uh number four <laughs> dude like I, I don't like strawberries. If you give me or or any vicinity near me with a strawberry, I'll probably gag. But the strawberry shortcake, ice cream cake, you know, like the ice cream, but it's cake. Yes. Oh, yeah. Like, that from like, like Carvel. Carvel. Yeah. That, that just has to be on the list because I didn't know that existed. And then once I found it, I never saw it again. That's so, a lot to write out. <laughs> You know, number three was <clears throat> now hear me out, but chocolate ganache, that frosting, man, I don't know what they put in it, but it's, it's dangerous. That I did never expected that on any list ever in the history of our show. I never thought one of us would say chocolate ganache. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> yeah, we should do, man, I want to do a contest tonight. I was going to buy two key concert series tickets and give them out on the show with a special word. <gasps> Ganache would have been that freaking word. Stop Damn it, it, I am so mad. <laughs> that would have been such a good idea. Ganache would have been perfect. I had a riddle for us to say later. I guess we're not going to have any giveaways, Whatever. though. You have our yeah. support. That's what you have. Right. Whatever you want. It's your night, baby. <sighs> Sorry. Number two. Uh, number two. I did make <laughs> Joey. I forget what birthday it was. I think it was her first birthday. I made her a pink velvet cake. Oh. Man, it was so good. I mean, it's just like red velvet, but it's pink velvet. But I homemade it, and it was of course just you did. delectable. It was pretty damn good. And number one is what I always ask for every birthday is Funfetti's. How can you not? Oh, uh, I like Funfetti. Just, just straight up Pillsbury homemade Funfetti's cake is the way to go. And yes, I'm saying Funfetti's because that's the Jersey way. I say Funfetti. I'm kind of surprised. <laughs> I mean, it's stupid because it's not really a whole cake, but I forgot Petty Force. I love a nice vanilla Petty Force. Mm. What the hell is that? There's, you go to the, like the finer bakeries, the little square cakes, they're like that big. And you usually have a little rose on top or a little flower oh, on top. Oh. Either like, white icing or wedding? chocolate icing. 
Yes, exactly. Oh, I love those things. Now, being Italian, as we are, do you like the Italian cakes, the, the rainbow? The, I don't like you mean the Italian <laughs> rum? I don't like Italian rum. Yeah, like with the layers, the, the rainbow cake? Um, no. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like the red yeah. and the green? Yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> All right. Me neither. Or even the cookies. No, I don't. Mm -mm. I'm, my Italian is very pick and choose. You know what? Very my brother-in-law likes those. I, I I can't stand them. They come out at Christmas time, but they're either the stars or the, the round circles with the, the white dots on them, the chocolate cookies. What? They're phenomenal. You don't like chocolate stars? Oh no. <laughs> Worst birthday ever. Just give me some confettis, some Pillsbury that that you homemade. That's all I asked Joey for. I'm like, just just make me make me a Pillsbury cake. I'll be happy. Damn it, chocolate stars are the bomb. Damn it, dude. My dad got me the nicest Wonder Woman cake though. I think it was. Oh. I don't think it was last year. It might have been two years ago, and it was like a big Wonder Woman cake. I have a picture of it somewhere, but it was so nice. I'm like. Mm. It was really nice. It was, it was really funny. So <laughs> Cassie's girlfriend was here like last week or two weeks ago. A friend of her sister's and her. And she's like, so your co-host, what's she like? My like, gosh, she's great. We've been doing a show together for years. Like, she's all about Wonder Woman. She has a bunch of Wonder Woman costumes. And I didn't realize I was kind of drunk up. And she just looked at me like, <laughs> what? I'm she's like, like Wonder Woman. <laughs> wait, no. Uh <laughs> And like I've having some little tongue ties. I just got it. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, love <laughs> I love you so much, um, dude. Cassie's tattoo is amazing. Oh, I did mean, you see she, that? Are you saying? Well, pit? she sent yeah. me the picture, and then you sent me oh. the picture. I'm like, I know, I got it. <laughs> like we're, we're talking, but oh my god, it's amazing. It's so Isn't cute. Cool? And, yeah, that's yeah. uh, that's the guy Josh who we're trying to get to do Yosho tattoos for us. I mean. Let's do it. I mean, it is your birthday. <laughs> oh, you know, we should do that Saturday night. I got a Saturday night, I got dinner Saturday night. Sunday. Well, Friday, I'm going to be at the Philadelphia Tattoo Convention. Yes, with right. My niece, um, my niece works for Seance Tattoos. Wow. So if you're in the area, stop by the booth. Maybe you'll see me. But yeah, her, her art, artists that she works with are insanely talented. Like, Ink master level, like they are serious, serious artists. So I'm just super proud of her. And Philadelphia Tattoo Convention, like that's such right. a huge deal. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited. It's gonna be Friday, uh, January 26th. I think it's like one to nine. Uh, so I'll be there earlier in the day. But awesome. congratulations really to her. Exciting. That's awesome. Yeah. I know you're proud of that too, and that is awesome. And I wanted, to, I told my wife I wanted to try and get down to it, and maybe see like. Yeah, you know, maybe somebody like a Fallon Vendetta or somebody hanging out, you know, because yeah. she does a lot of those shows. And that is so awesome that she's going to be a part of that. Uh, we're trying to get Tats on the show. Are we we got a tattoo artist who wants to do it. So we got somebody lined up. It's coming, Steve, I promise you. Yeah, uh, here, so Jason's here with jokes tonight. Do you drink <laughs> jokes? <laughs> no. I'm living the sober life. No. Um, yeah, Jason. I drink. Jason's like got jokes. I like to have a social here. drink here and there, especially on my birthday show. So <laughs> cheers to you. What's my favorite drink, you ask? Um, I, I do enjoy a Captain and Coke. That's my go-to uh, liqueur. Um, but beer, I like high life. I'm like an old man. <laughs> Who asked where your favorite drink was? Were you ahead of me? I just answered. Because <laughs> <laughs> <'Cause> tonight's <laughs> all about of, me. So. In case it was coming. J.D. Wolf is uh, up on it. He knows the deal. Oh, Fire geez. Those. I'm not even Fire keeping up. Energy. I'm just like, you know what? Ask ask me questions about myself. It's, it's about me. But um, no, I was going to say. Um, Next year we should Hawaii. bring back Kaleido mm -hmm. for me. Yes, Doc. Oh, I love Kaleido. Um, she's on her way to be an, an apprentice. So she is like. A fantastic artist but she's unlike me like i i draw all the time like i thought art was going to be my life path i thought that was going to be my major in college i was very close to like an art major but the difference between me and her is she is so insanely surgical with her artwork like she's insanely precise and that's exactly what you need in tattooing where i'm more of like 
da 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 like a sketch artist so mm-hmm. um come down to the convention and and just i i just want to look around my mom's like what do you do there i'm like um you look around <laughs> you see <laughs> right. artwork yeah. and mingle with artists and maybe you get a tattoo maybe you don't but it, it's just like a convention of insane insane talent and i'm really excited Oh, absolutely. A lot of work indeed. Maybe we're maybe we'll hold out and see if Duck can come on the show with her tattoo artist. You know. You know? I mean, yeah. I want her to <laughs> be right. established before I wrote it for her. But <laughs> nah, <it's laughs> all right. I'm just kidding. No, she's she's really like getting her foot in the industry and I'm super proud. And and yeah, she'll be out for my birthday. Hopefully she'll make it to the shop is open on Saturdays, but hopefully she'll make it to Future Stars on, on Saturday, too. Well, Saturday's awesome my goes. actual birthday. <laughs> yeah, Saturday's the actual day. Future Stars, we'll talk about that later. Um, and I want to say, like, I know we're going to get some music in, but your your family are also talented. So there seems to be a talent in, in a lot of different things that come to your family. So I'm sure Duck is going to be phenomenal. No, no reason to doubt that whatsoever. She's um, like the most talented person I know by far. <laughs> Yeah, and you're the most talented person I know. My wife's got some talent, but you're... you're, you're I've just never person. seen someone who could pick up any instrument and just master it. So it just, it blows my mind. That's why I'm just such a fan of musicians and, and yeah. how I like finding all these local artists because they just blow me away. And I'm just mind blown when I see all these young people just doing the damn thing and really bringing it. So... I just love being a part of the show where we could showcase all that amazing talent. Very exciting. And like I said, an idea of yours many years ago, you said, let's start uh, channeling the local scene. And, you know, I'm people like, oh, you toot your own horn. I see, I've seen a ton of shows come out and doing it since we started doing it many years ago and bringing locals. And it started out with local acts like, uh, again, Brandon Messon, uh, Mike Nappy, St. Ricketts, bring them into the studio, talking to them, bringing local bands out there. And a lot of people are doing it now, and that's fine. You know, that's that's cool because that's you know the goal to get more people doing it, more exposure, and uh, we're excited for it. And we're excited for this band here. Talking about more exposure. First of all, Brent Worrell in the house. What a big yo! Thank you very much, Brent. We love you, dude. We miss you. It's been a while because Brent's been busy. Brent's got a busy schedule. We're Brent's get together busy. Soon. <laughs> Brent is a busy dude. But let's do a song, Jewel, and uh, I gotta find it here because I got so many things lined up. The song is called Cold Lady, and the band is Bryn Athen, and they're one of the many bands that are gonna be joining us through the Key Concert Series. Um, this song is so great, and I know Twisted sent me a couple songs, and we found this song on YouTube, and I'm like, you know what? Let's play some songs that are gonna be hanging out at the cold at the, the cold the key concert series. Cold, cold key. Cold key. I can't even get it out. Cold lady is the song. Bryn Athen is the band. After the song, they'll be popping in. I've already seen them checking backstage. So about 10 minutes for them. Let's get the song in. Me and Jewel will gush over it after it's over. We'll be back in about four minutes here on the Yo Show as we celebrate. Jewel Tady's birthday. Ding, 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 ding. Cold Lady by Bryn Athen. We'll be back. Amen.
the band is Bryn Ath, and the song is Cold Lady. And Joel Tiddy, you know what? I think they wrote the song for me. <laughs> Was it Black Keys a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. Black, yeah, great no. classic sound. And you know what else I get, Joel? When I hear that song, I hear like, I get like an awesome power singer. Like a ding, 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 little swim and little 60s, little, a little bit of everything. And as I said years ago, when you said, let's do local acts, Jeff, and let's do the Philly thing, and let's bring Philly back to life, that was the kind of music, no disrespect to anybody that's been on, because everybody does great music. That's like the kind of song I expected, and bam, Brent Athen, who came kind of out of nowhere, loved them to be with us. Sure, this is the song that James while driving in a Jeep, top exactly. off on the way to the beach. I said, yeah. got a surfer groove to it. Good call, Steve Higgins. Yes, Jewel, talk to us about Brent Athen and Cold Lady. It absolutely does. Yeah. Black Keys, one of my favorite bands and just like uh, a little bit of Alt J and um, who else was I going to say? Uh, not Cold War Kids. What's the other band? Dang. Oh, oh. Um, Kings of Leon. Just oh, like my, my wheelhouse, like my college days, like it just brings me right back. Like it's very modern with, with um, early 2000s twists. So I'm just here for it. They're such a great band, and I'm so happy for all the bands, especially getting this spot to play at the Key Concert. Like it's such a huge deal, and yeah, I'm just really excited. I'm excited for it. I, a huge thanks to the gang at SRR Promotions. A big thanks to the guys at the Fuge, myself and Jewel, for just plugging away at this, and of course, Elena Brokus, who we give great credit to from the Future Stars show, who helped us and introduced us to a lot of these bands brought us into her show and lets us MC and just like feel like celebrities at her program. And it's helped us get to this point, Joel. And this is the point that we set out for so many years ago. And it's so darn good. And it's getting better and better. If I had to choose one band in the whole world, who would it be? That's a good call. We got them both tonight, Burnettin' and Twisted. They're my bands, Jason. We can't, we can't choose just one, like our children. I know, there's so many. And, uh, of course, the Grim Jacks are joining that concert. They'll be on the show in a couple of weeks. Um, and the band Cole, who, Jewel, I'm sorry, Cole had an engagement tonight. Could not make it. Tried to get all three bands on. Cole got a little jammed tonight, but we got the other two. And kind of a great idea. So what do you want to do for your birthday? I said we used to do surprises and try to get wild, crazy guests. And Jewel's like, let's talk about the key concert series. Let's get some of these bands on. I'm like genius as always you're genius congratulations on being a genius on your birthday <laughs> congratulations to you fellow genius <laughs> <laughs> i don't know about that now i'm only as good as the woman sitting to my right hmm. well the right hmm. yeah Did i get it right then yeah <laughs> i don't know speaking of the women that i love my wife is in the house cassie Woo uh, jules birthday and uh, she's stealing things from my baby. hey girl you coming out That's this weekend it. She said happy birthday, and she looks like Thank crap. You. She just got out of work, so she does not want to show her face on camera. She's coming out sometime this weekend. I'll forgive She's you. Come out. She'll be at the show. Well, she'll be at the oh, show. Okay. This weekend, we got to cool. drag her out as well. And um, speaking of the show, J.D. Wolf says, yo, Cassie, of course. Speaking of the key concert series and speaking of cold lady and rock stars who just knocked my socks off, let's get to it. Backstage are three dudes from that awesome band you just heard, Bryn Athen. Let's bring out the dudes right now from the band, Bryn yeah. Athen. Gentlemen, good evening. How we doing? What's up? What's, up? what's going on? Yeah. Yeah. i tell you what's up. My adrenaline, my blood pressure, that Cold Lady song, I've heard it live a couple of times. It pops, and even the recording is awesome. Congratulations. Yeah, thank yeah, you. I appreciate so it. It means a lot. It means a lot. And, That's uh, it, guys. Good night. No. Yeah, happy birthday. Oh, Thank you so much. Thank Happy you guys birthday. for being here. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Appreciate you guys. <laughs> we do appreciate that a great deal. And, you know, every year for Jewel's birthday or my birthday, we try to do special things. And uh, she's like, you want to do something special? Let's talk about key concert series because this is like the big yeah. deal. Let's have some of them bands on. I'm like, great idea. And then she mm -hmm. told me, she's like, she's been listening to your music all day. Why not? You guys are fantastic. First of all, I want to say congratulations for the immediate, and I'm going to say success because it's a great sound. And I just went to one of Atlanta's shows. I'm like, Bryn Athen. Weird. I grew up right next to Bryn Athen. I wonder what this band's like. And boom, from the get-go. So tell us a little something about the uh, creation of the band and how you guys got it together. Well, you guys uh, we all went to the same high school together. Um, you know, we're all, we all graduated the same age or same year. Um, and we just 
I don't know. We just kind of got this band together. We had a few extra people help us along in the beginning. And then, you know, we jam in my basement all night long. Sweet. And yeah, it just magic happens, you know. <laughs> <laughs> when, yeah, when, I mean, when did you first know you had it? Like, was it was it in high school? What what, so what year did it really develop? We all started at like different times of our lives. So I've been playing drums for about 12 years now. Aunt just started playing guitar freshman year of high school. Yeah. And, uh, when did you start? Wow. Playing? Uh, yeah, I started playing bass in uh, about sixth grade. So it's been about like seven years. Yeah. So in high school, we all became just familiar. Like we would all post on social media of like us playing and we were talking about jamming for a good year. And then COVID happened. And then we finally got together after the pandemic and waited another year until someone asked us to play at a at a school event and then the rest is history from now pretty much yeah so. yeah How, yeah it, your it was kind of i'm oh, sorry oh no sorry you got it oh no did you did you all like how i i mean you can go ahead and put how, how you got your start but did you all have the same sound or um how did you just collaborate with that sound and your influences that, um so uh it kind of just started out with us jamming like classic rock songs like sunshine of your love that was kind yes. of a reoccurring thing and just stuff like that you know making our own little we never really at first thought that we were going to do anything with it it was kind of just like basement jamming out oh you play bass i play guitar we were all on the same lacrosse team so we decided to just kind of get together and then sean who's very experienced kind of taught us his ways of real music and <laughs> kind of how it went yeah um so y'all run so y'all have like good stamina for the stage yeah, yeah. yeah. try to We're athletic enough to jump off you know <laughs> do some stage dives but um ant really brought us like together i feel like with the genres of music i was more of like hard rock you know i've never really listened to indie um like what was it tame impala um Black Keys, I also didn't really listen to a lot until, you know, Ant and Sean started showing me these songs. And and then we just kind of started mashing these genres together and, you know, out came our sound. Yeah. Dan Auerbach is just like a man genius. Yeah. He's just produced like some of my favorite albums of all time. So it's just it's just the highest compliment when you hear like being compared to the Black Keys or, you know, Kings yeah. of Leon. What, what do you guys think when, when you – created your sound did you i mean does it does it rub you the wrong way have you ever heard a band you were compared to and be like oh i, I would never <laughs> thought of that yeah. any comparison is a good comparison for us um sometimes we get arctic monkeys sometimes we get the black keys sometimes we get the strokes which are yes. all of like my favorite bands so <laughs> i mean that kind of it's like that's pretty good for me but you guys yeah, I I love when we get compliments, especially with you know getting compared to those big bands and stuff. You know, it always always brings a smile to my face, and you know, makes me appreciate appreciate what we have. Definitely. Yeah. You you got to get in there. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Of course. Yeah. So, was it like that you got the news for the key concert? Are you? You oh. Stoked? How are you preparing? Oh, yeah, What's been, going on? <laughs> well, we were all stoked is an understatement when we heard about it. So, like, Ant was on a cruise, so he didn't hear about it till like a week <laughs> after we actually did it. So, me and Ryan just said yes anyway, and he yeah. got to cancel all his plans and do it. Yeah, but I was <laughs> on a bus, it. and he was probably like at his house or something. Yeah, uh, when I when I read the email first, I was like, oh my god, is this is this for real? <laughs> like, we're actually getting like an actual like a concert venue instead of more of like just a bar which is which is fine and we were just yeah we were guys, i guess and wait yeah, you had a cruise a... planned like during that time no i'm was on a cruise with no service and oh okay i got a text I... <laughs> and the second we got back in nassau bahamas which the cruise that was like the big destination uh, i got a text about the concert series and i immediately made sure my calendar was anything around that date was completely like Okay. Oh, excellent! I'm glad it wasn't the other way around because I know yeah. how expensive yeah. that could be. <laughs> I would I would not have gone on the cruise. 
I'll tell you that. And we and we appreciate it a great deal. And it's us, me and Jewel, uh, along with the team at SRR Promotions. You, of course, know the Grim Jacks. That's um, kind yeah. of where the SRR Promotion team comes from. There's Sarah Higgins, of course, from Twisted. She'll be on the docket as well. Fantastic. So we sat down, me and the group from SRR, and they said, let's get some bands. I'm like, first things first, I said, first show, I want the following two bands. Because I knew the Grim Jacks were a lot, because of John. I said, I want these two bands. I want Twisted, I want Bernathan. Everybody at the table looked at me like, Bernathan? I'm like, <laughs> absolutely, the way they rock, and everybody's thinking, and we start playing it like, yeah, these dudes rock. So you're like a perfect start. The two of you are perfect. So, really, congratulations and thank you, of course, because to agree to do to it is big. I know you guys got great following. We appreciate it. Tell us about the excitement. You got a show coming up. How does that make you feel? What kind of amperage gets into your body once you get to play live? Oh, all right. You guys want it? I can take it. Okay. Yeah, I'm very excited. If you can't tell, I'm like really excited because, I mean, we have so much music on release like so like we have a, a lot of music like we're sitting on a lot of music and uh right. i'm at college right now so it's hard to re like release any of this stuff and it's hard to get it out but you know recording wise but we have we have some good stuff for the show that we really like are excited to show you guys some some stuff that might you know feel like it should blow some people away yeah premiere yeah. premiere stuff like never played before stuff oh yeah oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Man. yeah. Definitely. Yep. Yeah. I. Oh my God. I. I can't wait. I cannot wait to play. I'm so excited. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. And it's cool that we have all these gigs kind of stacked up now, thanks to Elena. So we're at Sweeney's this coming up Saturday, actually. So, Are you there this Saturday? This yeah. Saturday? Oh yeah. My God. I was yeah, like, uh, I, I, I at, didn't think you were gonna be on the bill, and I'm so excited. I'll be yeah, there. We're playing at three thirty-five. So, I mean, it will be a sneak peek. Excellent. There we are. There, there it is. That's well, my time. actual birthday, so that's the best oh. present. That'd oh. be great. Oh, cool. We'll, we'll give we'll you be a playing shout some out. covers, yeah. some originals. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Of course, like that Jack. Ditty, uh, happy birthday for me. That'd be great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very excited. Awesome. Her shows are, are excellent. She does, does a great job. And like I yeah. said, the first time, and she always says to me, she always points out, like, get ready for this man because she knows how I love to get him here, etc. So that day, and I even said to her, I'm like, oh, I see some new names, Bryn Athens. She's like, oh wait till you hear it. I'm like, okay. You know what I mean? I, I come in skeptical. Yeah. No offense. I'm like, okay. Yeah. And I'm just like, and I'm locked in like right away. Just really great. It's because awesome. it's a lot of angles. And I got to ask you a little bit about that. When me and Jewel were talking about, Jewel said like Spotify, they linked it with like Springsteen. Me, I got a little Austin Powers, a little surfer groovy thing in some of those, like 60s sound. You got a modern sound because people say Black Keys. Mm -hmm. I didn't put all that together because you, in my honest, my opinion, it spans about like six decades, really. Yeah. Well, uh, Cold Lady is kind of inspired by a band I listened to, Shocking Blue. They have some songs I like, and uh, I don't know. It was kind of a little surf rock type of thing I was thinking yes. of, and we kind of just put that together. But our music kind of evolves as we change and listen to different genres of music too. I mean, there was a stage we were going through the deaf tones a little bit, a little heavier listening. To, and then, you know, sometimes we're listening to the animals. Sometimes we're listening to Led Zeppelin, you know, it's, yeah. but we all come back to our roots and we kind of sound like we sound now. So when we make music, it's kind of our sound. I like that, that a that's, lot. That's so. what you have to hit. Yeah, it's retro with like uniquely current and and specifically you guys, and you definitely hear that in there. And just with um, just with your tracks on Spotify, uh, "Beautiful Waste" is amazing too, and it's gotten a lot of traction on Spotify. How how has that been, Spotify? How are you navigating that and just the different music platforms? Well, Sean's um, basically the manager. Yeah, he's, yeah. So, so, he's um, the brains of the plan. Where uh, we were, Ryan just stand there. When we were recording, uh, this guy called Crispy at a Ford's recording, yeah. he would help us with everything and answer all our questions, anything we need. So he was our sound engineer for when we were recording, and he had told us about DistroKid. So we would kind of upload everything on DistroKid, and that would then distribute to all the other uh, streaming platforms. 
I think you're giving out way too many secrets. <laughs> no, yeah. Sean. Yeah, come on, Sean. All right. But uh then we had to collect our like we had to log in as Bryn Athen when the songs are already out. So that took some time. So we found Spotify and Apple Music and YouTube so far. But uh Spotify has like a Spotify artist app. So then you can just track everything and Apple's pretty much the same thing. So from like where you'll be listening to or how many people are listening to per day, per week. Shockingly, we have uh, kind of a lot of like listeners that are like in other countries and I'd like never would Spirit. even, it's just crazy to think that someone in London is listening to cold lady and really like, <laughs> it's like just jamming out. It's just yeah. like one to person. me. That's awesome. We get that's that too. We we got, yeah. Like, yeah. We, we like find that too. We had a, a guy, um, from south of south america younger oh, guy him? that's true she popped on the other day he would come on every night he and watch up. us oh, glad to hear and i'm so. like i'm like if we can get one guy from south america to hear some of these bands and play some of these bands and tell them like regular, band, it meant a like, lot you can like all over the world that would be really cool and you guys again now we talk about Bernathan. i know the town you guys know the town jewel knows the town we're local we know that area what made you decide to bring that town to life and use it as a name? Because to me, it's cool. And when I mentioned the name, people were like, Bryn what? And I'm like, never mind, dude. If you're not from here, you won't get it. So what made you bring that to life? Because it's very cool. All right. Well, uh, I'll go for this one. We're bracing for this. But uh, so basically, <laughs> I live, I live, my, my father lives around us, me, Ryan, and Sean. My mom lives in Northeast Philly. So I'm driving through that town essentially like every weekend. Like I pretty much, I, I drive through there so much. It's like, and I've always thought it was such a, like a nice, cool town, like a beautiful town. And yeah. uh, so I did some research on it a little bit and it means unity in Welsh. And I just thought it was cool. I really thought it was a cool name. It sounded good. And uh, I like Bryn Athens. Yeah, I just no idea. <laughs> That's really neat to know. You always yeah. think like Mayfair and Kensington, like there are places yep. in, the UK, so that's that's really cool. I never knew that. Let's get your guys' take on it because I want everybody's take on it. Not that Mayfair and Kentucky yeah. are nice. <laughs> yeah, we want to go down there. <laughs> yeah, Bryn Athen. Um, I mean, it is. Yeah, I don't really know. There's nothing much to say. It's, it's just a really. I mean, it's a cool name. I, I thought it was a really cool name when uh, Aunt brought it. I was like. Yeah, it might be a town, but it also is a pretty. Yeah, it's got a pretty cool sound to it. There's also the band Chicago. So yeah, <laughs> America, <laughs> true, America. We get roasted by our friends about the name sometimes, yeah. but yeah, but um, we like it. So that's all that matters, you know. And I tell you, that's, it, all that it, yeah. that's great. <laughs> it sucked out to me, like I said, growing up in Huntington Valley, right next door. The name yeah. jumped out to me right away. And you know what? It's stuff like that that starts out great because you start on a smaller level. Like, yeah, let's see who knows the name. I knew the name. Like, I got to see this band. Now I'm in love with the band. And now I'm telling everybody. So smart marketing, fellas. You all get, you all get big thumbs it. up for that. Thank you. Sure. It was, uh, wasn't planned, that one. So I'll say that. <laughs> That's the best kind of marketing. Dude. Best kind of marketing. I just I, I said to Jeff earlier, it Bernathan College is is sometimes pops up when you type that in, and um, there's also a train wreck I didn't know about Bernathan, yeah. <laughs> but okay. um, there's yeah. But uh, I saw you guys to a show at Temple the other night. So are you are you hitting the college circuit? Like, how's that been going? That That's up to so Bernathan. I mean, I one hundred and fifty percent would love to do that. That would be awesome. Um, I don't really know anyone that goes to the Bernathan College. Uh, my school plays them in lacrosse this year. Like, I'll be playing them, but I, I don't really know anyone there. But, like, if we could set something up, that would be really, really cool. Oh, just, like, crazy. shows at colleges, though. Like, did did you play Temple the other night? Yeah, like, we played Temple. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Like three, two, night, two, three nights ago. It was pretty cool. Oh, it was awesome. a packed basement. Yeah. You know, no one can really move shoulder to shoulder, but those are the best ones. <laughs> yeah. Those are the fun – those are the most fun. I remember well when I was in college, it was Asher Roth and he came up and he did like I Love College is like when the song came out. So there's nothing better than that college scene. Everyone's there to have a good time and you could just let loose at the show. So 
man, if you can get more of those, that mm-hmm. it's just the best. Yeah, a college that's, tour that's would be goal. would be awesome to do. Yeah. We we actually are trying that's to get one together, but I mean, it's very difficult. But yeah, we're trying. I mean, like, like the best gigs are the ones where you know your PA system's on a washer and your mixer's on a dryer, <laughs> and you know everyone's sweaty. It's a good time. I'm mm. drummer's I'm trapped in the college. corner. Yeah, yeah drummer couldn't see Sean. <laughs> yeah, Sean was not in the picture. He was all yeah, the way in the back him. with a shield in front of him. And so, yeah, I was in it, jail. It was for the sound. Though. <laughs> we had to put Sean in jail. My, yeah, he was doing like going. parkour stunts to get out. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a challenge. <laughs> so, um, and of course, house shows are fun, and I like seeing now. Granted, I'm a little bit older. The house shows, the basement shows, I'll probably get beat to a pulp but it just looks awesome i love the fact that um you know your friends come in and new fans come in you pile in like i said the basement or house or something like that it's definitely cool and it's definitely like very much now so our goal definitely is as a key content series to yeah get a college crowd uh people that are home for the weekend like what do you want to do let's go see our boys play and let's hang out it's kind of stuff we're really all about um playing on stage is there a nervousness? Is there a feeling uh, in your gut to like, oh, anymore. we can't Not do really it. anymore, yeah. No, wow. Uh, well, I feel like... Our first time, Yeah. Just, the more we play, is the more we just feel comfortable. And with just Even if we're playing new songs or like a brand new set list, and we usually do like a... We run through the whole set like a day before <laughs> or something. So we, we come in pretty confident every time, so... Yeah. Well, I will say that we... This has like been pretty fast paced like yeah. a year ago we didn't really have any gigs it was like a, a christmas party every once in a while like something like that so the the gigs shout out to Lena, awesome but you know th- these really like kind of boosted our confidence as a band got us a little stage presence and uh you know Brought interacting with the crowd definitely so yeah and starting Not to, learn to have more fun with it on the stage too yeah yeah yeah. yeah, I noticed that, and it, it's got to be a little tough. I mean, like I said, being younger and being like an independent band, you got to do a lot of your own sound work. And at Key Concert Series, uh, John is going to do most of the sound. We have group in place to do sound and, and pre check and all that. So we're excited for that. I'm excited to have you guys come on and jump on the stage. And you, um, not to make you nervous, but I think you're going to be the first band to kick this entire thing off. That's awesome. Whoa. That's yeah, great. I think you're first. If I'm not, no, I'm like, I'm just, I'm, <laughs> I'm just really, really, really excited. Yeah, it just yeah. pumps us up even more. It's great wow. to be the first band to kick off the series. Like, that's that's even more. No, no, that's what's going to be the first song is the question. It's like, well, we got to leave that as You'll a have surprise. You'll have to find out. No, that's it. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. We'll have to find I out. tell you guys that. Right. Uh, I hate well, to uh, do a cheap plug, but yeah, that's twisted. Sorry, wrong one. I got it. Where's that key concert one with the ticket? Oh, my God. I'm just nervous tonight. I'm, like, so excited for this whole thing. Um, yeah, Jeff so there was going to do right a there. ticket to give away. <laughs> Keyconcertseries.ticketleap.com. Tickets are cheap because we're going to have four bands. There's a cash bar. There's food you could buy beforehand. Uh, the Fuse is an awesome venue. It's very much concert scene. It's not just, hey, there's a bar with people or, hey, there's some band walking into some park. This is a venue. And the arena will fit like 300 people. We're putting the stage up, sound. It's going to be legit. And you guys, like, it's all going to be about you. All of our eyes are going to be on you. Everything is about you. Let me make you nervous. Into no, no pressure. You know? <laughs> yeah, no pressure at all. Yeah. None at all. So, um, what's the future for Burnett? I know a lot of the bands do things like the college scene and they, they branch off and other things. And some are like, hey, man, we're in it to win it. We're in it forever. Give me the future of Brent Athens. Like you said, you got tons of songs. I love it. A lot of people are starting to love it. A lot of local people are like, yeah, let's hear it. But what do you guys think? What's down the road? So we got a little roadmap kind of planned out. Nice. Um, without giving out too much information. But I think it's, you know, we got a little EP on the way. We're going to probably do one or two EPs. And then we're going to drop a complete album. Um, and this is something we've been trying to do for a long time, but you know, with me at college, these guys are working hard every day. It's kind of hard to, but 
it's all about time management and we're kind of getting there with like figuring out how we can do it. So yeah, working out all the kinks and, you know, and we were planning and an we album. plan to stay around. Yeah. yeah. I mean, of course we, we were planning an album for like the past year, year and a half. We've just been writing songs, but you know, once you, like, you hear those, you'll just hear how during that writing process, we've just been evolving our sound more and more and experimenting with different stuff when, so those songs are going to be thrown out on the EPs that we sound and put into like two groups that would go together. And the album is just going to be our, our typical sound. That and not to play. say that these songs are throwaway songs. They're, they're pretty, they're, they're really good songs too. Yeah. But we're starting kind of new on the album. This is stuff that we've been working on for the past year. We've gone to the studio. I think we started going like, like I, I think about a year ago and stuff that we just had, and like recorded stuff and kind of just want to get it out there and then start new because we've come up with so much ideas in the past like few months hey i know that guy hey he's looking for hey, the Jared. album we're all, we're all looking for the album dude i appreciate you popping and we're all looking for that album of course and i want to remind everybody out there because you guys usually have a great show out uh when you do play this saturday sweeney's 13 639 film on avenue it's a future story show with elena brokus um Bryn Athen is on the list along with Zookeepers, Grimjack, Jade Schuyler, who are actually be on our show tomorrow night. Uh, Evan McCarthy, uh, Death on Stage, Violet, Night uh, Violet Nightmare. Of course, the great Bryn Athen, you can catch them right here at the key yeah, concert we'll series at the Fuse. I love it. Saturday, February 17th. Doors open mm. at six. Cole, the Grimjacks, Twisted, and these great guys, Bryn Athen. Good to see you concertseries.tickleap.com I appreciate you guys for saying that as well because we can't wait to get you there I thank you so much for taking the time and I know it was just short notice but when Jewel said let's do key concert series for my birthday I'm like perfect let's get I got two perfect bands to bring out and I wanted to do this for a while guys I love your sound I love your mannerism in person you're cool dudes you're respectful dudes you're fun that's part yeah, of the, the gist of making it head is yeah. having your head on straight. Absolutely, dude. I love it. And uh, we'll see you Saturday. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See yep. you Saturday. Yep. We'll be there. Thank let's you for having us. Yeah. That's, oh, let's give it up for Bryn Athens. So We're going to let you guys you so go. We thank you very much. Have a great night. Yeah. yeah you too. Have a good one, guys. Thanks. Jewel, um, like 110% wow. The dudes from Bryn Athens. They're fun guys. They're respectful guys. They're cool guys. They love it. And they're so cool. Um, not yet. That's coming, Jason. We're working that out. And Cole was their first Damn. big step because the Cole's a pretty big band. Thank you, JD. Well, tell us, just what do you think watch about and it? Watch and learn. <laughs> watch and learn. Tell us about it, Joe, your experience with Burnett, because I've been trying to get this band to you for a little bit. I know. And I know they've they've played the Future Stars before, but I didn't, for some reason, it slipped my mind. Like, I knew the Grimjacks were there. This Saturday, but I didn't know Brennan Atham was too. So yes. I'm so excited to see them before um, Key Concert just because I haven't been, I haven't had the chance to get out at all <laughs> the past <laughs> couple weeks or months. But um, yeah, I'm just so excited to like just get this thing started. And it's such a big show. I always have the best time and just seeing artists that we know and love and then new artists come to the stage. I'm always blown away. Like these future stars, you think like, Oh, well, some filler bands, no. Like, they're all amazing artists. Like, right. you just sit there are, and are amazed uh, band after band that comes on. Um, you almost don't want to see them leave the stage and then another yeah. <laughs> band comes on. It's like, what the, what is happening? But it's just so exciting. And, and yeah, if you can get there Saturday, it's going to be beautiful weather, finally, in this area. So uh, get out and support. We'll be there. Absolutely. Do a shot with me. <laughs> Yeah, do a say Shul's birthday for damn it. Uh, 13639 Philmont Avenue is the far northeast Philadelphia, good part of town. The zookeepers of Grim Jacks, Jade Schuyler, who will be on our program tomorrow night on Yo Wednesday. Ever McCarthy, the great Burnath, and we just had Death on Stage and Violet Nightmare. 130 to 630, a measly 10 bucks to get in to see all these bands brought to you by the Future Stars Show and Atlanta Brokus Productions. It is the Future Stars Jewel. Awesome. Very excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for new music from them too, because I feel like they can go in so many different directions and it would just flow seamlessly. Like I'm just prepared for whatever they have to bring. Definitely. Hey, don't, don't be shy to bring us neon trees. I love that band. Dang it. <laughs> neon. Yeah, man. So, 
So Michael Jackson's back this week <laughs> and said, happy birthday, Joel. Thank you. Wherever he, he is. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, MJ. Um, I'm afraid. Nothing. Like, I know them for some reason. <laughs> I'm sure we do. It's going to come out one day and we're really going to be yeah. blown away by who it might be. Sure. Now, we're wonderful. <laughs> All that matters is us at this moment and every moment. And J.D. Wolf wants you to have another drink. I would Thanks, J.D. Too. I hope you're drinking, too, or I'm not drinking mine. But I will. <laughs> if you're not drinking, I'm not drinking mine. But I will. Thank you, Jason. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much. That's nice. I know at least you're going to see me at Exotica this year. I don't know if we get Jewel there, but if it helps, <laughs> Cassie's going to be there. This year. <laughs> well, if Cassie goes, then I'm always down. <laughs> Cassie's gonna go anywhere. Cassie goes, it's a, a guaranteed party. I agree. Let's jam a song in because I see that Twisted is getting ready to come backstage. So let's get a song in from them as well. They sent me two awesome videos, Jules. So first one we're gonna play is gonna be Faded. I went through a lot of magic to make this work, and I went through a lot of magic to get this from these guys. So thank you so much to one of my favorite bands. Uh, make sure I can find that link right there. There it is. Faded is the song. Twisted gets to sit backstage and listen to their own music, which I love. We'll be back here on the Yo Show, Jules' birthday, in about four minutes. Enjoy Faded by one of our favorite bands, Twisted, right now on the Yo Show.
<laughs> Jesus. I just think, Joel, someday this awesome band is going to be big enough to get away from horrible audio like that. God damn internet. Oh my God. I'm so sorry, but I literally had chills the whole time. We're sorry for <laughs> Man, Yeah, the we're sorry for more glitches. That's the only Rain. drawback of having the band be backstage. Uh, Rain, as I tell you, another amazing female drummer, Rain Sparkles. When I told you that Sarah is legit and something else, and you said, oh yeah, you knew it right away. Freaking amazing indeed, uh, J.D. Wolf. Um, I gotta tell you, I, I'm like... I get nervous. Like, this is like my favorite superstar band. I apologize to every band it's been on. <laughs> wow. I'm blown away by it. It's so good. Every aspect is so good. The singing is amazing. The guitar is amazing. The drumming is amazing. Every piece of it just fits so perfect. And I get so geeked by it, Joel. Like, geeked. Like, I mean, like, I, every day I look to see if there's something new. I know, and, and it's the thrill of new music that you just love, and we just want to be a part of showcasing that here. So we're so honored that they, they let us play their music and and allow us to be a part of this, and we're so, again, so, so excited for next month's show. It's going to be, it's going to be insane. I'm, I'm really, really excited. <laughs> I'm very excited as well, and um, if we get the kind of love for it that we heard from Bernathan that I know we'll get from Twisted because of all the great sharing mm -hmm. and that of course the Grimjacks are going to bring and, and Cole then it's it's off to something big and, and every, these bands deserve it and let's get to it enough of my talk it's like 9.02 and I'm already late with our next guest um, we're sorry we're, we're, we're uh, just I'm, ge I'm geeked I'm fan geeked tonight. <laughs> I'm fan geeked and it's Jules birthday but let's bring him out um yes. Two of just the goddamn greatest musicians in the area right now. Let's give it up for Logan and Sarah from Twisted Guys. Wow. Hi, Hi guys. Hi. Um, I know we only did this maybe a month or two ago, but I'm just excited to have you back that fast. And um, what we heard from that video, and me and Sarah talked today, she's like, I got some videos for you. I'm like, oh, yeah. I'll make them work. And I did. And it's phenomenal so first of all thank you for that and second of all thank you for agreeing to be part of the key concert series when we sat down at that table and like i said like i said to bernath and they said give us names we're gonna have cold grimjacks are playing give me names i'm like that's easy for the first show it's twisted and it's bernath so thank you for that thank you for thank having you. us for having us we're super excited we're excited we're so excited <laughs> we're definitely excited for you and brief story if you may or may not hear it and i say it a lot when we set out for this like seven years ago and 200 and some odd episodes ago, the first thing out of Jewel's mouth was, yeah, let's do a show. Let's do it Philly-based. Let's do Philly bands. Let's do shows featuring these Philly bands. I never thought it would be possible. But as we sit here with her, myself, and awesome artists like you, it's coming true. Describe it. How does it feel to know that people are out there pushing for your band and the city to become huge again with music? It's really great because... There's, the city used to be like so full of original bands and music and you hear like our parents and their friends talking about it and you just go to the city and it's not the same anymore. And we're very thankful for people like you who are trying to bring it back and we're really excited. We're excited for artists like you. Um, I, I was talking about my niece in the beginning of the episode, but she's, she's just a young musician too. And it's like, I... I, I just I'm, I'm I am just such a huge fan of the artists that come from this area. Um, you really have the drive, and you're so talented, and really have your ear to everything, and could go so many different directions. So to see you guys form and find each other, um, the last interview it was just amazing with Kayla and everything, and how you guys connected, and just seeing it all come together with that video. Like I still have chills. Like I'm like, <laughs> I'm literally like so excited, um, but it sounds amazing. I want to know all about, you know, the video and the making the song and, um, and how it, life has been. I mean, you went to Nashville, you're 21 now. How yeah, I know, I'm 21. It, is, it's, it feels great. <laughs> um, I was in 20, I was in Nashville when I turned 21. So I wasn't able to, go out and you know celebrate the 
birthday. But uh, when I came back, me and my dad went out, and we went out with a few friends to a local bar and just hung out, did twenty first birthday things. You know, <laughs> you'll be back soon. Don't worry. But oh um... yeah, yeah, <laughs> we'll be back soon enough. How was that experience out there recording and how, how was all that? It was great. I was, we were all definitely a little nervous going down and we got there and just the producer we worked with was amazing. And it was just so natural feeling and it just felt like we've known each other for so long and you made it so easy. And it's just like all our ideas came together and they came out better than we thought. We, yeah. we were down there for 10 days and the best was he texted us and it was Thanksgiving the next day. And he's like, you guys still want to come in? And we're like, yeah. So we're there on Thanksgiving. <laughs> it was, it was so fun. Now you said you were looking for like a stronger sound last time. Like you, you, you work with some producers, but uh, going to Nashville, you were looking for something specific. Did you find that there? Definitely. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think we definitely did. That's awesome. So yeah. happy for you guys. I love it. I'm Thank like, you. I, I still have chills. This is crazy. <laughs> I, like I said, when 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 Jules' idea was local artists, you're like, who are you going to find? And then I, I find a band like you, stumble upon it. Really, there was a um, there was a Woodland Tavern or Wood. Yeah. The name yeah, the Liberty Tavern. Liberty. Yeah. Liberty Tavern, yeah. right? And I'm and like that's far for me. So I'm like, I don't even know if I'm going to make it. I'm like, yeah, I'm go. And I've gone to everyone since. And just that day, just remember the experience, and I love it. But since then, a little bit of change. We talked about it last time. A new singer, kind of a new direction, and it seems to be the right direction. How do you feel? Do you feel that you finally have found your way? Like, is this it? Like, is this what we're going to get from Twisted moving forward? Yes. Say yes. That's what, yeah, that's that's what we were saying before. How, like, we think that we've, like, with Kayla joining the band, we are like, we really feel like that, like you said, like, this is it. Like, I think, like, this is the final lineup and just like especially from the songs that we wrote in Nashville with her and just like how it all came together it just it feels really natural with her and like the three of us and it's just yeah we think it's great especially just how quick she jumped in and like we were getting ready to go to Nashville in like a month and a half two months and she's like yeah I'll go and she learned the songs we <laughs> yeah. made them better together like it was like very last minute for yeah. her to come with like we're really thankful as well. And I, I see it as, you know, not to not to put you on the spot, not to embarrass you, whatever it may be, but it's three professionals kind of meant to be together. The three of you are definitely molded together. And like I said, when you first said, oh, we're making a singer change, she came to my mind first. And then when you guys told me it came together, I'm like, wow. Like, that blew my mind. That's <laughs> yeah. perfect. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we think she's a great fit. The one, yeah. So did you did you do writing in Nashville, or did you come like fully prepared, or was some creation process happening? While, while um, kind of both. We usually he, he said that usually bands show up without really any ideas, and so I did. I didn't think that that's how it worked. I usually think that you you know a band would come up show up with some songs written, which is how we did. Right. It. We 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 came we came in with with our base ideas. And then he just like threw some wrenches in here and there and we just fixed them up. And yeah, he, he, he helped us did, he did help us write them as well. But we did come up with some ideas. It was cool though, cause we wanted to record five songs and we had four done, four like our ideas were completely done. And then the fifth one, we like had an idea, but then we got down there and he's like, why don't we just start from scratch and co-write a song? And I, that was a really cool experience, being able to co-write with someone else and see yeah. how they write in their direction. It was very cool. Yeah. It has to be an insane experience just to meld with someone and and have a product that, that you're proud of but is so, you know, uniquely you and, and your sound. It's it's a task. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it is. Really cool. we're, we're excited for um, the key concert series, of course, because it's – it's going to be about the bands. It's going to be about music. And, you know, and no disrespect to bars. I like going to a bar and hearing a band. But there's a TV on and there's bar <laughs> things happening. There's a cat that walks away. That's Cooper. But this... Cooper. Cooper. <laughs> but this is like a little... 
I love it. This is a little more of like a, an actual like music scene. Like it's strictly about the music. It's all focused on it, all closed in about music. It's making a little nervous to think like there's not only a lot of eyes on us, but there's like all eyes on us. Does it kind of get the nerves flowing a little bit? A little bit. I um, think I'm just more excited. Yeah. It's more to like like an exciting nervous, you know? Yeah. You guys go to school for this. I mean, you're used to getting up on stage. But uh, what are you doing to prepare for, I don't know, this is such a big stage. I'm, I'm just so excited. Like, every time I think about it, I get giddy. So uh, is there anything special you guys are doing to prepare for the February performance? Well, now, well, yeah, we um, since our new songs have, um, like, backing track stuff, like techno stuff, um, we have, we have our inners now. We have an in-ear monitoring um, system. So we're really excited to use that. But if that's kind of nerve-wracking a little bit because there's kind of a lot that goes into it. I just want to make sure that it all goes right. But um, we're really looking forward to using that for our this, – this is going to be our first show. It's we're fun because, like, out. we program our whole set list onto, like, a little computer, basically. And then – we hit start and it'll just run like through the whole show. So it'll, we're very excited because it'll be very like seamless and mm -hmm. just, we get to incorporate like techno stuff and like strings and that kind of stuff. To yeah. Fill in, like, just fill it out. Yeah. A lot of pressure on John Simons who's handling sound. Go get him, John. <laughs> no <laughs> worries. Sound check. Sound check. It's a, it'll be easy. All he has to do is plug it into the outlet. I yeah, believe it's like that. Play. <laughs> and um, you know, when when people like us find bands younger and you get so into them, you get so geeked from them, it's almost like you it's almost like you're watching like a child grow and it's just like such a beautiful thing. And now I see all these people in town watching your videos, emailing me, saying, What's the deal? I'm like, Well, come see him at the show, etc. Do you feel like, man, we're really doing something special? Do you feel like a big deal? Because I'm going to tell you, you're a pretty big deal in these parts. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's false. Honestly, no. <laughs> it I don't know. It just it feels, I don't know. Not a bad way. Just doing our thing. Yeah, just having fun while doing it. You know, having fun is what most what matters most. And... That's really all that matters, you know. Damn, I'm you know what? so grounded and like level. I know. <laughs> I'm so I'm jealous because if somebody said to me like, "Oh, next week you're going to appear in this podcast for him," and like thousands of people are going to come watch your podcast, I'm like, "Oh my god, yeah!" And I'd be like <laughs> nervous, and my stomach would be bunching out. And you guys are just like, yeah, 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 you know, We're not just another day in the life of twist it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny because last time we talked about like your hobbies and you with your video games and you with your Christmas <laughs> movies. Uh, yeah, what, are you, what are you guys doing now? What, what's your downtime looking like now? More of the same? <laughs> um, yeah, more of like I, I still play video games when I get the chance and practice the guitar. Um, also, um, I forgot to say last time, I'm a big anime fan as well. Um, MMA? Anime. 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 Oh, yeah, what, do you, yeah. what do you watch? Can you give me some recommendations? Because I need new ones. Um, <laughs> let's see. Well, uh, right now, <laughs> um, right now I'm watching Naruto. Okay. Um, which is really good. It's it's long. It's like five hundred episodes long. But um, some of the new ones. <laughs> I love Sailor are... Moon. I love Sailor Moon. My niece got me this for for Christmas. Oh yeah, I, I have a so T-shirt of that. Yeah. Actually, I never watched that one, but uh, so I heard that was good. good. Yeah, the ninety um, the 90s version is way better than the new one. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I'm a, I, I'm, I like you know, uh, Demon Slayer is a good one. I, I like I a lot of like that. action, a lot of do action you watch, anime. Do you watch Airbender because that new that new series looks pretty good. I love the cartoon, but Airbender it's the live action one, right? Yeah, but I mean, the cartoon yeah. is one of my favorites. Yeah. But hopefully, they they do it justice. I hope so. I actually didn't watch all of the cartoon. Oh. I was just watching it kind of, I think it was on Cartoon Network. 
I bawled my eyes out. It it's so off. emotional. No, it's, <laughs> it's the best show ever created. I'm convinced. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of shows that I got to have on. Oh. Yeah. So I'm not, sure, <laughs> I'm not sure if I asked this last time, but every time I, I watch Sarah's videos, I watch her play, I think of one artist. I think of, um, I make sure I say her name right, Matel, Matel Cohen. Are you familiar with her at all? I don't think so. Okay, we got a little, it, it's spelled M E Y T A L Cohen. And um, she's, I believe, is or Israeli or something like that. And she drums. And she's got the long dark hair and she's got the same style. And every time I see her, I think of you a lot because your stuff is flawless and her stuff is flawless too. And I really get excited by that. Do you feel like being a younger female drummer, and like I said, I've asked Rain this as well, like you're setting a trend, like you're like a leader, a pioneer of many more women that should be getting into drumming? Uh, <laughs> yes, in a sense, because I, I don't know, it's a hard question. Um, I feel like it's really cool being like, Especially, there's this um, contest every year called Hit It Like a Girl, and it's for all like female drummers. Yes. And seeing how many people and like seeing them all, and everyone gets to meet. And I met so many friends from there, and have hung out with them in person. It's just really cool, like the community you form, and like just being able to share what we do, like what they're doing, what works. Like it's just a really cool community. That's pretty cool. That's, you know, that's a great answer. We love that. And I'm going to ask Logan on the same token, being a younger guy, shredding like you do, do you get messages or emails or anything from like older guitarists or like, dude, how did you do this? Like, how did you do that? How do you get that sound? Because you're, the both of you, like, I hate to keep bragging about it, but your sound is like phenomenal. You're a talented artist. Uh, so, sometimes at, um, not necessarily... Well, at, at the school that we go to, the rock school, I uh, some some of the younger teachers there I'm friends with, and they, they tell me sometimes like you know I might I kind of have like a unique style I guess you could say with my playing, and so and a lot of the you know the little kids as well look up to not even just me you know Sarah too as a drummer and good uh, me being a one of the older students there as a guitar player so. Yeah, I, they, they, you know, um, they, they, the kids, you know, look up to us as well. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a very it, cool feeling. Yeah, yeah, it's a yeah. good feeling. Yeah, you know. And it's just like, uh, I'm watching your video and I keep thinking of, don't hate me, but like guitar hair, like it looks <laughs> like a rock band video. I'm like, I'm like her with the purple hair and you guitar. Mm -hmm. I'm like, this is like a rock band video. It's amazing. But it's just cool when kids have the influence of real musicians and not learning on guitar hair <laughs> because that's <laughs> not real guitar. Uh, you have to play the real instrument and just to get them involved in that and, and get excited to well, that's how I started. I, I, I started on Guitar Hero way back. I remember you saying that last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's how I got into it. And then we saw, and then my mom saw in the paper that the rock schools, you know, that they just opened at the time. I was like, screw it. I'll try the real thing. That's amazing. I, it's yeah. just, it's it's so difficult. <laughs> it's it's not an easy <laughs> transition to go from you know, either or, but um, yeah. they tried to come along. Didn't they have a game? It was like Rockstar. And Rock you, like, real good Rocksmith. Rocksmith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I played that as well a little bit. Did you really? Did that help? A little bit. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I, it didn't really. Well, I didn't really play it a whole lot, but like I, I've heard reviews and stuff, and like people say that it did help them a lot because like it, it does teach you how to play songs, and like there are um, like I think there's like little lessons, like lesson plans on there and stuff to help beginner guitar players. But I remember playing like uh, Iron Maiden songs on there. So, hmm. you know, it's cool. That's awesome. That's yeah. pretty cool. And I, um, you know, I'm forever 110% jealous of Sarah because I took drum lessons and I suck. And I watch you just out there killing it. So there's a little bit of envy in all this, in all this <laughs> fandom of mine. <laughs> I'll, I'll teach you, Jeff. I'll teach you how to play drums. Sweet. And like, who better <laughs> learn from them? Like one of the absolute best. Because I, I really, I... <laughs> 
when I hear the both of you rock out, I'm I'm blown away. And again, I hate to say because there's a lot of great bands that come on, a lot of great bands in the area. But you guys just have something really special. Um, uh, it's just. Right now, I'm like lost. What's next for you guys? Everybody says they've got a lot of songs lined up. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. After the key concert series and we make you superstars. <laughs> Thank you. What's, what's next for the band? Because I, I just always get excited to hear new news and what everybody has on their agenda and in their mind. Well, the first song that, that everybody heard, Faded, um, it's not quite released yet, but um, that's going to be the first song that's probably going to be released off our EP. So we're looking forward to that. And then we have a, are we allowed to say we have a five, five mm -hmm. song EP? Um, we're going to release them all as singles. Um, so yeah, Fate is going to be the first one. And then we have uh, some more coming on the way. Plan on making a music video. Yeah, oh, a couple yes. music videos. Yep. Yeah. And then just, just do you have a timeline out. for that? For the music video? Or, or just or, a timeline of when they're going to be released, when you're doing the videos. We're still waiting on final mixes back from the producer. So the one we played is still a rough mix. But um, when we get that back, probably, I would say that will be released in the next couple, like month, two months. Great. And then they'll be coming, all of them, quickly after that. Yeah. Wow. So we got kind of like uh, we got kind of like world premiere stuff here we're doing tonight, or yeah, yeah, pretty. Oh much. god, <laughs> oh, my listening party. Jules' <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> birthday and listening right, and I thank you for that because it means a lot to us. And I joke around about it, but a lot of bands are like here. This is our new stuff. Nobody has it. Don't let it get out. And I listen to it, and ninety nine point nine 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 percent of the time I love it. And then I send it to Jewel, and then Jewel loves it. And then when I'm laying in bed, my wife's like. I didn't get it yet, so I got to send it to her. But it's it's cool that we appreciate it so much because it means a lot to us. And, you know, I'm no music critic, but I get into the new stuff, and I love it. And I'm telling you, you guys are definitely on your way. Uh, like I said before, don't forget us when you're so damn big. Remember our, our humble little show, and come on every year for Jules' birthday. And Whenever. Please. Whenever. <laughs> Always have a spot here. Thank Absolutely. you. Mm -hmm. So, real quick, um, what can the fans out there expect from what we're going to see February 17th at the Key Concert Series? I'll shoot it up here again real quickly. Um, Saturday, February 17th, it's at the Fuse in Warminster. It is Cole, the Grimjacks, Brynethan, and some little band, I think, Twist. Look at that picture. I mean, right, I know you've got a great, you've got a great picture. You're so, you're so rock band. I love it. So, <laughs> what, can we, <laughs> what can we expect to see? Just a little hint of uh, how you guys plan on just coming out and dominating this stage. So, actually, we'll be playing our whole new EP. So, we'll be playing all five songs. Um, little cover song mashup. Ooh. All right. Yeah, but. All our new music will be played, so you'll be the yeah. first to hear it all. You don't want to oh miss my. this. No, absolutely. <laughs> and <laughs> we've we've had two visits onto the program now. Uh, Sarah and I share some messages sometimes. Don't look at me weird when I start crying in, in, in enthusiasm because I'm, I'm just that yeah, excited. We might, like, we might cry. Like we right. might cry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> hey, in a good way because, like I said, this was a dream of Jules long ago when we first started this, and I never imagined it would come to this. And great people like SRR Promotions and John Simons and the, the Grim Jacks and you guys from Twisted, your family, of course, um, Sarah, Steve is, is just an amazing guy and Everybody seems to have the right idea how to make it work. It's about the bands. That's what we do here. It's not about us, even though I run my mouth. It's not about us. It's about you guys. So, really, hats off to you every freaking time. I can't wait. February 17th. Come on out. Check it out. The Key Concert Series. And you'll get all mm -hmm. new music from Twisted. Guys, I can't thank you enough for coming on today. I know it was short notice, but you were thrilled to. When Jules said, for my birthday, instead of trying to do anything wild, let's have key concert bands on to talk about the concert. So thank you so much for taking short notice and being on here. You guys are superstar, professional artists. I love it. Love every inch of your band. I love it. Well, thank you. Thank you for having us and happy early birthday, Jewel. Yep. 
Happy Thank birthday. you so much, guys. I'm so, so excited to see you guys next month. And uh, it's just going to be a party. But I yeah, know. keep rocking. And yeah, we'll see you do, do the thing on that day. So congratulations. And we're just so excited for you. Thank, Thank you. you. You can find Twisted on Instagram at twist dot it dot band and the facebook at twisted youtube spotify go listen to the music check out the videos get into it because it's definitely worthwhile uh remember this episode like a year or two from now when this band is opening for some of the biggest and then when big bands are opening for them i'm telling you guys you know, you're going to be huge I love it so much. uh twisted jewel let's give them a round of applause before they get out of here sarah and logan thank you guys so much have a great night and we'll see you in a couple weeks thank you thank you, Sounds you, good. Thank you. bye bye uh, Joe, I, uh, I can't how excited. I get so excited, I feel like I'm saying dumb stuff. And they're looking at me like, God, dude, relax. But I, I get so deep. We're I like the old fogies. We're like, we are. We're so proud of you. you I just can't wait. I just can't wait to see you on stage. Me, it's going to be amazing. Tell me if I sound like that big of a geek. But, <laughs> no, um, I sound like that too. So. Well, we're in the same boat, dude. Who? Wow. <laughs> But I, I just can't wait to be there. <laughs> and honestly, oh, JD, we got to get you a plane ticket. But Let's honestly, go, like, JD. February 17th, key concert yeah. series. <laughs> you have um, a little less than a month to work on it. Let's go. Uh, but yeah, we are kind of like, but I see a lot of people who are trying to do this concert promoting, et cetera. And there are older people like us trying to get the younger bands. And you know what? We remember a time when everywhere in PA would be, put bands like this on and every bar would have whether you're a cover band or an original band, etc. Every weekend, the velvet lounge and, uh, uh, patty wax and the, the place at the <laughs> corner there, um, whiskey tango. Uh, um, what it's else? not there anymore. I, 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 I remember the nutty Irish, <laughs> but the nutty Irishman and just those bars. Oh, I, you know, I'm with you there, bro. It is Jules' birthday at the all. But, like, yeah. you would go in every weekend. You're like, okay, which part I want to do, go to? Which part I want to see? But, like, the Le Comp and the Rockets and all them are out there doing it. It would be, like, the same five bands you would see. Like, the Rockets, Le Comp. No offense to them because they're amazing. They're amazing. But, like, there wouldn't be a lot of variety. Like, like I think that's where you're getting at. Exactly, like you saw, um, and there were there were a few locations, like I said, Velvet Lounge, Whiskey Tango, Sweeney's. Oh my God, I almost forgot Sweeney's. There were a few of them that had bands, and a lot that didn't. And even old Route One Cafe had nice days. They would have yeah. the Rockets. Yeah, they would have the Rockets, which was great. Sunday nights with the Rockets was fabulous. Mm -hmm. Bronco Bills Thursday night with oh my God, Bronco Bills. <laughs> oh, they used to have the Comp every Thursday night. It was awesome. It's like a kid. So, so why not, right? That's kind of what we want to bring back. And like like the SRR promotion team says, this will be your new home. It's all going to happen at this place. And we have, dude, we already have a lineup for March. We already have a lineup for April. You can't know it unless you come out to the key concert series. And I'm going to show you one more time where to buy your tickets at. It's going to take me an hour to find it, but I will find it. Keyconcertseries.ticketleap.com Com. It is the key concert series February 17th at the Fuse in Warminster, connected to one of my favorite places, Tranquility Brewing. Don't forget, Saturdays and Sundays, now at Tranquility Brewing, brunch, Jewel Tady, fabulous, with, with Bloody Mary flights and mimosas and beers and great food, the Fuge. Tranquility Brewing, SRR Promotions, The Yo Show, of course, bringing you the key concert series, two of the bands that sold tonight, Bryn Athen, Twisted, Jewel, Can't Stand It. Amazing. I mean, all of my favorite things, brunch, mimosas, and bands. <laughs> <laughs> right? And, of course, like I said, we will give homage to the amazing Elena Brokus in this Saturday, the 27th, at Sweeney's at 1369 Philmont Avenue, the Zookeepers, the Grimjacks, Jade Schuyler, who will be on our program tomorrow night, Ever McCarthy, Bryn Nathan, Death on Stage, and Violet Nightmare. It's going to be great. The Philly music scene is blowing up. 
And when I talked to Elena, she's like, hey, congratulations for what you're doing. And I say, congratulations for what you're doing. We're all doing it. And speaking of young superstars, Miss Joey is in the house. Like, looking fabulous. Got the hair done. Little little makeup she, on. She's wearing makeup today. <laughs> she's, uh, she today. looks great. And she's ready for this spot. Ready for this spot. Before you do the little promo, Joey, oh, yeah. before you do the the little promo, Joey, that we love, give Mother a very special happy birthday message. Give us a few words for Mom on her big day. Did you hear that? What? Did you hear that? No. Oh, you got to say happy birthday. Oh, <laughs> God. Um, make, make sure you hit that subscribe button. <laughs> you know what? Oh. You know what? It's okay. You, just, you can start. Okay. It's fine. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the <laughs> Make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications and hit that like button in the face, but don't break your screen and happy birthday. Thank you. Oh, there it was at the end. Where's my closet? Oh, uh, I'm not done yet. <laughs> that wait till your birthday. No late presents. Oh, thank you. Do I do I get better with age? <laughs> what? I don't know. Do I get better as I get older? <laughs> Poor girl's befuddled tonight. I get smarter. <laughs> and my favorite. Oh, yeah. that right there is worth every second. You're not going to get this on any other program. <laughs> this this sweet family community and love. And it's a great spokesperson telling you, like and subscribe on YouTube. Follow us on Twitch and Facebook and all that stuff. And you can see this great kind of fun every Tuesday night. Tuesday night, before, you know, prepping for this show, we always go in the bathroom. We're, like, getting hyped up, listening to the bands. And then, you know, me and Joey have our own playlist. So we we we, we rock out. We rock out on Tuesday nights. That's our party night. That's when we can let loose. And and it's it's your show night, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I agree. What is... um. Give me a couple songs that are on your pre-show playlist, because I know a couple Ooh. of mine. So I want to hear a couple that you get down to uh, beforehand. That's My man, one. Jason, thank you. Um, besides, I got a couple. Have one that night, yeah. Well, tonight it was. Uh, it was. <laughs> Do I even remember? That was like wasabi. <laughs> um, yeah, wasabi. What wasabi is like a fun new dance song. Yeah. We we she's got just dance twenty twenty four, so we've got all the. Bangers. That come um, out. we we did a we got a badge for doing ten difficulties. It it yeah, took extreme. three days. Yeah, we we've been. Wow. It's a workout, man. Just just dance. <laughs> like she hit my lamp doing it. <laughs> like in the middle of the dance, all hair is bang. <laughs> oh, you know, you have to go all well, out. Yeah, you do got to go all out. Um. That's awesome. Yeah, no, dancing to Beyonce and Lady Gaga just does something and to me. <laughs> Brittany. I like that. Mine's a little different. I go with um, the live version of Pretty Vacant by the Sex Pistols. Then I go with Only the Strong Survive by Saliva. And oh, then I'll. I'm really trying to get like in the head, head game of just bringing it. <laughs> a little bit. And then I usually will pick. I'm not saying it's be funny. I usually pick a different local band each week to play one of their songs before we go on. Like Pawn Shop Roses, like I, I do that one a lot. Strange Culture, I do them a lot. Mm -hmm. um, Twisted, I do them. I, I do a lot of local bands. I get one of them in my, in my head before we start to go. And yeah, man, it's it's cool. I love the fact that we both kind of have the same pregame. Yeah, and when when you're going through your playlist, I mean, obviously they come up just our past bands. Um, Modern Mimes comes up a lot for yes. me. They're like all over my playlist. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's just it's it's a staple in our playlist, and and just having these bands on week after week, especially on like these streaming sites where it's just so easy to like plug them in, and it just becomes a part of your daily routine. I agree. I I think maybe Jewel should say less about the band she loves. Every time she says she loves a band, the whole world seems to follow right behind. Well, I do have best taste. You do have the best. You got a great ear. And like I said, you know, I, when people talk about the Yo show, a lot of people are like, oh, well, you know, Jeff, you wanted to talk sports. We don't, we're not, we're not a sports show, number one. Number two, it's not like, oh, Jeff came up with this idea and brought Jewel in. This was 
our brainchild together. Jewel came up with amazing ideas on how we were going to do this. And I came up with some ideas too. And like I said, my wife being there too and just combining it all. It's, I kind of consider what we do. We find the right word I'm looking for. Masterpiece. Because I think we do it perfectly. Oh, is that what you think? <laughs> yeah, I, I think mean, we, we I mean, we try. <laughs> I mean, we it's, do try. We do. And, um, there's definitely a realness, there's a warmth, there's a belief in everything we do. We don't bring bands on and just say, all right, we fill a spot with this band, we'll see you later. We bring them on, we share their stuff, we listen to their stuff, we uh, try to orchestrate our own concert to bring them on. We really believe in it. And like I said, that was what Jewel said. You got to believe in it, you got to love it, you, you know, we can definitely do it. And she's exactly right. Sharon Tate in the house, Joey and Jewel, thank you so much. <laughs> We love you. Yeah. We appreciate you coming on. Uh, also, send us a like emoji. Thank you very much. Steve Giordano with a like emoji as well. And Jewel sent her a like emoji. That's beautiful. I did? Apparently. It's up here. It's, How? Uh, I don't know. But you're mm -hmm. out there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How did I send the link? Okay. And then, and, then we got a, and then we got a heart from Brent Moro. Thank you. Hello, Brent. All right, yeah, so, we definitely need new pictures. We need to update our... <laughs> we do. That one of me, like, eight years ago with no beard and all this. Who is that guy? I know who that guy is. Um, let's talk about this. This is kind of cool, Jewel. Um, do a couple topics. Uh, the restaurant Applebee's did a giveaway for what they call date night. What to do, you, you know, go online, you hit it up and try to get a card... And they'll give you a card, and they give you thirty dollars off your date. Non-alcoholic drinks, of course, but it includes food money and a regular drink money. Thirty dollars off from Applebee's. They're trying to get people back out of the house. You know what I mean? And and get out and about. Um, what do you think? I mean, kind of a cool idea. And apparently, they sold that already. Oh damn! Yeah, I I mean I, I like Applebee's. They got that two for twenty. So. There goes your $30. <laughs> right, sure. That's good, though, right? I mean, it's inexpensive. I mean, Applebee's, a lot of people are like, ah, that place sucks. And, you know, if you're going out for a quick meal, I like me some Applebee's. I just feel like if you're going to any chain restaurant, you you know what you're going to get. It's like mm -hmm. Olive Garden. or Dang. It's funny, when I was younger, I didn't know that Olive Garden was a chain. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's just like... <laughs> <laughs> it's just all a chain restaurant. So, you know, you're going to get what you're going to get. Um, it is a night out. It's not the best cuisine you'll ever eat in your life, but it's it's decent food for it's like a right. Oh, okay. You like do you like Applebee's? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shoot me to a two for twenty or thirty dollar discount. <laughs> I can't even eat the food because all I eat is the breadsticks. Oh, Olive Garden. Oh, well, that's, that's her oh, spot. She loves it. No, don't don't send me the breadsticks first because I will eat them. And then when I get my phone, I'm like, I'm too small. <laughs> you got to take her when, I don't know if they still do it. Fridays they had all you can eat breadsticks, soup, and salad. Oh. You I can't beat that. that. That's There's fabulous. no Fridays around. We did have an Applebee's around here, but they closed that down yeah. for some reason. But Probably turn in. I tried to. Uh... Jewel being 21 when I was younger. <laughs> Yeah, that's a oh. long time, long time ago, Brent. <laughs> 22. Um, I'll tell you what, real quick. Before we do any of the topics, how about we, got, we play one more song? So we still had that other one lined up. Oh, 25. I'm in. Oh, I'm in. man. I'm in. I'm in. Bring that with you. Who's treating uh, me? <laughs> we have a lineup. I'm going to blow up the <laughs> internet tonight. Um, Twisted did give us two songs. I definitely want to play the second one too because Sarah went through a lot of effort to get them to us. And this is another one of their new ones called Bitter. I'm going to load that up real quick. We're going to get one more song in tonight on Jewel Tady's birthday celebration. Jewel, I hope you're having a good time. I certainly am having a good time. I'm having Hello. a great time. Awesome. You're <laughs> one of my absolute favorite people on earth. The video is playing without us. Let's close that. There we go. Jesus, Jeffrey. Bitter is the song. Twist it is the band. The birthday is Jewel Tatey's. The show is the O Show. We'll be back in a few minutes. Enjoy. Woo -woo. Live. Bitter by Twist It. I can't help. 
help but wonder if you try I know I'm good at hiding I'm fighting things inside my mind Different thoughts colliding Titty's birthday here on the Ocean on Tuesday night, twisted with bitter. Jewel, um, man, we talked about crying. I'm getting ready to cry. It's so I, I still damn have chills, good. like body chills. Like I, I just, I was texting Jeff off air. I'm like, these songs are so fire. I'm so happy for them. Like the production, everything. Like, uh, they're so good, so so good. I'm so excited for next month. The key concert series like if you're in the area anywhere near the area please get there um it, it's just gonna be a hell of a show i agree we'll show you again if you're local and watching us live or watching us on delay and you're in the area warminster pennsylvania february 17th the doors open at 6 p.m order yourself some cocktails and some food from tranquility brewing Sit there and eat the fuse and get ready for an awesome show. The key concert series is 100% live. The local live music movement is here. We're making it happen for 2024. The O Show and SRR Promotions present an awesome evening of music with the headlining band York PA's own Cole. Awesome local bands, the Grim Jacks, Bryn Athen, and Twisted. Bryn Athen and Twisted, of course, you heard here tonight. Seen them tonight. They chatted about it. This is well worth it. It's twenty dollars a ticket, or twenty-two with fees. But come on, twenty dollars a ticket. Four awesome bands, beautiful venue, dedicated to music. There's a DJ in between sets. DJ Tim Ewing is going to spin some tunes, going to spin a little music from the bands and all that. And while you wait in between sets, there's no downtime, Jewel. There's all night party, one hundred percent. I'm so excited. Woo! Thank you. Thank I you. you know I. I get geeked over rock stars. Sarah Higgins is that kind of rock star. And we've had great rock stars. We talked about it before, like the Mixie Demners and the Margarita Monets and Lena Scissorhands and, and Molly Rennick and all these big time uh, Francesca Destruct. All these awesome rock star females that just crush it. 
I get more nervous for Sarah than I did for them. And I love all you women, but Sarah just really made, she makes me nervous because she's so good. <laughs> she does. It's, yeah. And, and it's just like week after week, we're blown away, but it really, when you see a band grow and, and get to perform live, it's just a whole different feel. So getting out there and seeing these bands is so important, especially if you're local, like support your local scene and and just go see it, see a show. I mean, you'll have a great time, guaranteed. I agree. Um, you know, look for me in the Yosho T-shirt. Probably be emceeing if I'm lucky, because I love to MC. But and and Brent was there too that day. Like I said, it, it's kind of a you show up to these shows. We're at the Liberty Tavern, and <clears throat> Twisted plays, and me and Brent just zip shoot each other this look like. Did you just hear that? And he's playing it back on his video. And I said, that's when we met uh, Steve, Sarah's dad. And we're like, man, these kids are so talented. So it, it's wild. It really is. And then, like I said, watch it grow. They come on our program. They talk about it. And, man, it, it's going to be so great. I know. It's like watching Strange Culture from, like, the first show we saw yes. to, like, a year later. And you're like, oh, my God. <laughs> this right, is it's insane. Like, their pro true. I watch them take stage on shows where they open for Sponge and and no Tantric. I love Tantric. I love Sponge, but Strange Culture kind of stole the show. You know, like yeah, they they kind of stole the show. They've done it the last couple of times when they get big bands. They steal the show. They're that damn good. And you said it from the first time. You're like, that's a band. These guys are good. I'm like, mm, okay, let's see. Wow. Come with us sometime, yeah. trust me. He is. He is. <laughs> and we have fun. And I know, like, there's been nights and not getting too much into the story, but just one night we're out of the place and people are talking about if we're really in it and if we really do what we say we do. And Jules thing they're telling people, like, look at that guy. Look at him. Look at the way he gets into it. Talking about me. And I'm dancing, I'm headbanging, I'm trying to film and all that and just loving it. And you're the same way. You're there. You watch. You get into it. You feel it in your bones. And you're like, yeah, that band. Just like that. Like, I always wonder, like, when you go to Future Stars, you're just like, that band. And I'm like, wow. Like, really? And you're just like, yeah. And, like, Stealing Society and Strange Culture and, and Grim Jazz. Jules plucks them right out before I even say a word. So, Yeah. Still in Society. They're doing an acoustic show coming up. Yeah, That's they've done cool. a few of them. That is cool. They've done a few of them. And uh, since you've seen him last, of course, uh, why with Dave is now in the band too. And he's a great singer. And he's really changed that band a little bit in a great way. they got a great lineup. Joey and Colin and, and Dave are awesome dudes. So, uh, of course, we're, we're excited. Toby Keith. I don't get into Toby Keith, bro. I'm sorry. Not a Toby Keith fan. Not a, not a Toby Keith fan. No, no. no you didn't? I've, okay, I, I've seen a lot of country shows toby keith isn't one of them but. speaking of, speaking of country shows help me here real quick because i'm blown away by everything i'm hearing and i'm seeing and it was this dolly parton birthday performance by mm. l king or ellie king l l where she forgets the words and she's f-bombing on stage and she just made a disaster out of it. What was that? What was that? On Dolly's birthday. Dolly, for God's sakes. She's had a rep for being kind of a slop tart. <laughs> what does that work? You know? You know? And uh, you know that's Rob Schneider's daughter. Really? Yeah. I had, really? Yeah. I did not know that. Wow. She's super, she's super talented, but. But a mess the other night. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I feel like when you perform her, it's, it's kind of like, um, she kind of reminds me of like an early Kesha. <laughs> like, like, you don't know what you're going to get. Wow, um, I remember that. But, uh, yeah. Uh, yo, I've grown to love Kesha, though. I usually. A lot of like, people uh, have. You know, yeah, hats off to Kesha. I'm not a yeah. fan, but how Yeah, you know, when she first started, I saw her on Saturday Night Live. I'm like, this is a mess. Yeah, it was so she bad. Really, now she's like, a story, to yeah. a really powerful artist. Um, so I'm not talking crap. I'm just saying it was like yeah. around the same. Because I love El King. I I have her music on my playlist. Like I really, I do like a lot of her songs. I think she's insanely talented. But apparently she's not too good. At 
Jesus She's Christ. like me when I go to a Yosho. I was going to say, I was just going to say, <laughs> Kelly Drew and Wingbull. I was so happy on the tip of my tongue. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Dolly, I'm sorry. No, nah, it's not Dolly. I love you. I love we you. We just get nervous. Maybe it's nerves. It is nerves. We definitely so get nervous. Messed up. I get nervous as shit. And I was told at future star shows by a couple of people, like, oh, dude. They land on the beers. I'm going to talk to these people. I'm so nervous. I'm going to get on stage. You know? I'm channeling it a little bit. It's not easy. Even here, I'm like, oh, my God. I'm All nervous. Right. I'm nervous. Come on. Even a, a podcast. And it's like, <sighs> so maybe that's it. I mean, I know she's, like, criticized a lot. So I don't know. I, you know, we hope for the best. But who's to say? Right. Who's to say, indeed. Uh, from one person making a spectacle of themselves to another. But we love this guy. How about Jason Kelsey at the uh, Chiefs-Bills game the other night uh, taking his shirt off and guzzling beer, but then he picked up that little girl so she can meet Taylor Swift. That was so cute. Uh, I hate the Chiefs. I was pulling for the Bills, but it looks like it's uh, Chiefs moving on. They play the Ravens next week. Jason Kelsey, Jewel, just continues to be great. He is great. He's a great person. I want the I wanted the Bills to win too, but like, what if that was your brother? Like, you'd be there right. with your yeah. shirt off, chugging a beer. Oh yeah, you know what I mean? So like, I I totally get it and respect him, and everyone loves him. He will go down as a legend, uh, no matter how you slice it. Um, I just don't want to chief Super Bowl. I don't want to chief Super Bowl. I'm rooting for the Lions. I feel like it's such yes. an underdog story with Thank my you. favorite underdog. Um, so yeah, go, go lions all the way. Who's your favorite underdog? Eminem. Oh, Eminem. Okay. <laughs> I thought you meant Jared no, Goff. He's so like... excited. He's so excited. So... And it's, he's become such a staple, like at the games with the songs and everything. So. Cause I do, I, I liked me some lions. Um, and that is the final four. It's Ravens versus chiefs, lions versus 49ers. It's like the 49ers are a powerhouse. I really don't want them to win. They're going um, down. The Lions beat them, but like a lot of people say, oh, this team made it, and this team made it because blah blah blah. Is the NFL rigged, Jewel? I don't know, man. I mean, I don't know how you can rig injuries. So there's so much. There's so many players, so many teams, so many refs, billionaires that own them. They're not just going to take a knee for some payday. Refs maybe. Refs don't make the money that the players do. I can't see players fixing games. For what? For what benefit? Isn't there a pride thing? If you want to win, you want to be the best. I don't think they could um, other than, you know, the Patriots cheating. So that was definitely rigged. But other That's than that, cheating. I just feel like everyone should be in it for the love of the game and may the best man win. I just think, I don't know what happened to us this year. I just think it would just freaking... Worst case scenario, just build up, build up, build up to crash and burn. Um, but, you know, there's always next year. Just don't fire my man, Nick. I know. I like Nick. I want Nick to get another shot. And uh, I can't see him being rigged either. There's so much involved. Um, speaking of sports, last night, I don't know if you heard. If not, I'm going to reiterate to everybody out there. My man, Joel MB dropped 70 freaking points on the San Antonio Spurs. I say 70, Jewel. That's insane. That's everything. Everything was going in. I'm laughing, like crying, laughing in my bedroom because everything is going in. It's just so freaking beautiful. Excuse me. Um, so, <laughs> I know. I'm Jelly now. almost first had her first basket at her first basketball game this weekend. And I, like, it went in the hoop and then out of the hoop. I was oh. like, oh my God. And like, I have to get it on tape. Like it has to be recorded for possible. Um, it's just You're such a great supporter of your daughter's efforts. And a lot of times like, hey, what are you doing this weekend? Are we doing tonight? And you're like, sorry, busy, Joey's got this and that. And I think that's amazing. I love that for you. Um and I love that for her. You're for you. you're you're great people. You're kinda of like my heart and soul. And um I just love doing the show with you. I, I wanna wish you again a happy birthday. Uh, if I haven't done enough Thanks, again. Man. We got a few minutes left before Cheers. we uh, before we call it a night, and I'm kind of sad. We've had good birthdays. We've we've had great birthdays. Great from, birthdays from Misha Johnson to <sighs> Christina Chris to Alex to uh, Jamie Kennedy to Josh Server. We we've done fun things. 
And tonight was cool too. And she was like, ah, you know, let's not try to get too creative. Let's do key concert series. And a perfect idea because such a perfect night with Bryn Athen and Twisted. And of course, Steve Higgins. Drew, you know the logo means you got to sip on up. Oh, is that a logo? I can't say. <laughs> It's late That's in the shame. evening. I don't have my That's glasses. <laughs> two champagne glasses. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. And, uh, and two. <laughs> happy birthday, Joe. I hope you have an incredible birthday. Thank you, Thank Jason, you. so much. We love you for that. And you picked us over the Happy Hour podcast. We did both. We it's love you. It's so we... nice to be turning 29. <laughs> I'm jealous. I'm 39. So <laughs> I'm close to any of that. Coming up on our program, Drew, because I said the other day, I said to Drew, I'm like, man, we're like running out of gas. We got to get cranking up. And uh, we do. We got a couple coming up um, that I can't find. <laughs> oh, so uh, remember, some of the message Jewel's birthday. Next Tuesday, January 30th, Jewel. Wow. Uh, a young lady who kind of told me way back that we found her when it came to the podcast world. Uh, an incredible artist, Philadelphia girl, Rachel Bello, and her man, B. Jennings, from the brand new band, King Cherry. They'll be here next Tuesday, the 30th, to talk about this brand new band. We're excited for it. We love Rachel. We love B. Also from Hollywood Gods and Monsters, who we love. Shout out to Rosie and the PR team, and Chris Aragon, who I adore, and uh, Rachel and B. Next Tuesday here on the program. Uh, the Tuesday after that, talk about the key concert series, The Grim Jacks. We'll be back with us. Last time they did a Wednesday. This time they did a Tuesday. And even said, we're on a Tuesday night. We're in Jewel. We want like the full experience of the O Show. They asked me for it, and they're getting it February 6th. Jewel, great stuff. Other things named uh, real quickly. Uh, happy birthday from Sarah. Thanks. Thank you, Sarah. You're awesome. Oh, uh, and February 20th, we have Sucker Punch. Yeah, band. just for the same, right? Uh, Jewel, Jewel did all the work there and landed an awesome band, Sucker Punch, on February the 20th. And uh, I just got this one uh, the other day. Um, my man Josh Halknick and his new lineup, Burden of Guilt, uh, on February 13th. We're welcoming uh, and we're oh, excited yeah. for Josh. Brand new stuff for Josh. Brand new music, uh, February 13th. And... I thought I had somebody else lined up. Did I have another one? Oh, yeah, it is. Tuesday, February 27th, a band was turned on to me by several of my friends and fans. Pine Creek Academy. Jewel, these dudes are cool. They're going to be on the program on the 27th. And don't forget tomorrow night, another one of Atlanta's future star amazing artists, the uh, young superstar Jade Skyler will be on our program for a yes. Yo Show Wednesday night. Very uh, nice. Yeah. Bring the gift. Brent, not give me anything, Brent. Are you kidding me? He did. He got you something. True. as we uh, come near an end, uh, of course, happy birthday. What do you think tonight? Did we, get, did we do good for your birthday? Oh, my God. It was amazing. I was just smiling all night. I had literal chills from these bands. I'm just such a fan of both of them and all of the lineup that's coming to the Key Concert Series. So it's going to be amazing. I'm so excited for Saturday. If you can get there, go to Future Stars. At Sweeney's, that's happening, what, 1-6, 1 6 one six thirty. One thirty six thirty. yep. Mm -hmm. Woo! So it's just going to be jam-packed musical birthday for me, which I couldn't be happier for. It is, and we are loading up. And again, it is uh, this Saturday, uh, the 27th, 1-30 to 6-30 at Sweeney's. Future Star Show with the Zookeepers, the Grimjacks, Jade Skyler, Evan McCarthy, Bryn Anthony. So here tonight, Death on Stage, and Violet Nightmare. In case you forgot, do not forget the key concert series Saturday, February 17th at the Fusion Warmester 780 Falcon Circle, Warmester PA. DJ Tim Ewing in between <coughs> sets. It'll be Cole headlining the Grimjacks. Bryn Athen and Twisted, two bands that were on our show this evening. We thank you very much for that. We had a great time. It's coming up on 10 o'clock. Oh, look at that. Oh, you're cute. My favorite color is green, and then she put a little Zelda thing in there. And I put your, your favorite Kate Red Velvet. Oh. I tried to spell it out. Oh, that's so cute. Thank you. She's so nice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All the love. <laughs> So nice. um, again, before we leave tonight, I know I, I do the sappy stuff sometimes, but 
We do. We love you. I know a lot of the audience loves you. I love you very much. I adore you. You're just one of my favorite people. And Tuesday nights, you make just everything just awesome. And I know you even talk today like, man, I've had a bad day. But we dig down deep. We throw on our clothes. We jump on and we do this. And it's sensational. I thank you for every single episode, 276 deep, 300s on the way, seven years worth. I thank you for each and every second. I wish you a very happy birthday. I hope to see you this weekend and have more of a great time. Thank you so much for everything. You're amazing. Oh, love you, man. Thank you so much for everything and, and just bring this all together. This has just been, uh, it's going to be a great year and, and this is just, we're getting started and this is just the start to something great. I'm so excited for this event and more events to come. And just to have the support of the bands coming on tonight to know that they're really engaged and a yeah. part of it and allow us to play their new music means everything to us. Um, that That's the best present ever. And just that you threw this together and and continue to do this week after week is, is so amazing. So thank you so much. Thank you for everyone for commenting and, Man, it's been a lot. <laughs> it has been appreciate a lot. every one of you. Thank you so much. And I love you all. And thank you. And hopefully <laughs> this is going to be a great year. I agree. We, it, You all make it worthwhile uh, for all of us and the, the bands and their support and their families and viewers. Everybody makes it worthwhile for us. I joked around a little while back with my wife. I'm like, yeah, maybe I'll stop. She's like, you're never stopping. There's no way you're stopping. And you know you're not stopping. And she's right, because why would you? This is so great. Steve mm -hmm. Higgins, thank you. And, and thank, thank you again you. for letting us uh, bring on your, your talented daughter and her talented band. Because, you know, even being a family, you got to watch who's out there and who wants mm -hmm. to talk to the bands and the kids and etc. And trust yeah. me, nothing but 100% genuine good nature at heart steve came up uh, this past season to the simon's pig roast and sarah and logan came we all just hung out and had a great time and that's what we're about we're, we want to have fun we want to enjoy it we want to celebrate these awesome bands our awesome selves and the awesome people who bring them right here on the yo show tuesday nights the yo show myself and jewel wednesday nights yo 2.0 kind of a little bit of a different spin tomorrow night we got a great artist jade skyler next tuesday night it's rachel and b this tuesday night a very happy birthday to jewel tady thank you for everybody that came on twist it and Bryn athen thank Ooh. you as well we'll take you out of here with the music of a band who we're going to get in the key concert series you're going to do a reunion if it kills them St. Ricketts with Fire Cannot Ooh. Burn at www.stricketts.com. And believe me when I tell you, Jewel brought this to me and said, how about this song? And I'm in love with it ever since, all these years later. Jewel, happy birthday. Good night. Nothing but love. Thanks, man. Thank you all. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>